Chicken Dance Theater, fast version. Okay. Okay, show us what letter you chose, everyone. It's the letter A! Okay, go ahead. Astronaut. We did Ooh, astronaut. Oh, I but know, that's I know. okay. Yes, Mia. Asteroid. Asteroid. Very good. How about you, Kyrie? Oh, an acorn. An acorn. An ape. That's good. Ape. ape. What does an ape look like? It's very ape-like, very nice. Okay, it's, it's Kyrie. Oh, yeah. No, I think the thought left. It e. came and left. <gasps> I know the letter E. E. Now, what words start oh, yeah. with the letter E? I know. Yes, Mia. Episode. Episode. Very good. Like an episode of a drama. And like episode of Lost in the Nally and stuff in TV. Yeah. Wanna ask us for favorite That's TV? That's right. Is that your favorite TV show? Mm hmm What else starts oh, yeah. with the letter E? Oh! Yes, Mia! Eggplant. Eggplant. I love eggplant. Okay, we're out of time, but good job, guys. So today we did the letters A and A! E. Hi, I'm Dare. Today I came to Kizania to get some work experience. Let's go. Have you ever thought about what you want to be when you grow up? At Kidzania, you can try out all kinds of different jobs. 
It's a place where the kids are the stars. What kind of job will we experience today? It's time for Xavier's Field Trip. This time, Xavier will try working at a bakery. What kind of job will he do here? Today, you will make a mini croissant and a Danish bun. And do you know how to make bread? Yeah. To make bread, you need flour, yeast, salt, and water. Bread is made from flour, and flour is made from wheat. First, Xavier will hold the wheat, take the seeds, and grind them by using a grindstone. Can you see the white powder? Can you see? What is it? Wow. Flour, that's why right. it's flour. Next up is the yeast. This part is very important when it comes to making delicious bread. So, I will mix some yeast with water and sugar, okay? And mix. Yeast is very important to make bread, okay? Oh. The yeast will break down the sugar to create carbon dioxide. This is what makes the bread expand. Finally, Xavier will take the dough and form the shape of the bread. This is dough. I will give you your dough. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. So please hold your dough like this softly. And please stretch your dough like this. Stretch. OK, very good. And put your dough on the sheet like a tower. And roll your dough like this. Roll. Yes, we made a mini croissant. Good job. So pick up your croissant and show the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Xavier. Those croissants look great. The yeast will help the dough expand so the croissants become bigger and fluffier. Now, all Xavier needs to do is put the dough in the oven and wait. They look delicious. Next time you're at Kidzania, try working at the bakery. Music time. Hi, everybody. I'm your music teacher, Greg. Today we're gonna sing a very old Japanese song. They used to call a stove a pechika, but we call this song in English, the old wood stove. Maybe your grandmother remembers. The snow is falling so come and light the old wood stove let's burn the old wood stove and talk of tales of long ago i love to hear your stories come and light the old wood stove is falling now so come and light the old wood stove let's burn this old wood stove before you know the spring will come forget your fears and sorrows come and light this old wood stove falling now so come and light the old wood stove let's burn the old wood stove and 
talk until the fire dies Listening to crackling willow Come and light this old wood of three hints and you have to guess what I am thinking or sure. talking about. Okay, so sliding, ice, <gasps> dancing. I know, I know. Yes, Mia. Penguin. <laughs> sliding. Oh, I know, I know. Yes, Mia. Ice skating. Very good, good job, ice skating. I, it's okay, Kyrie. I know. Yes, it's okay. Are you ready for the next one? Yes! Okay, ready? Spike, net, ball. Yes, Mia. Basketball. <gasps> Close! Close! It's a hmm <laughs> ball. Hmm <laughs> ball. Yes, Kyrie. Volleyball. Yes! Good job! All right. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, so this is. Uh, oh. Fishing. This is a little hard. Fishing. It's so hard. Fire with know. everyone. That's it. At night we oh, I know. tell ghost stories. I know. Yes, Mia. Camping. Very good. Have you have you been camping before? I did camping, but I didn't put a tent, but we we put some fire and then we sit around it and we roasted some marshmallows <gasps> with with, marshmallows. with our friends. Oh, hey, let's pretend there's a campfire here and we're roasting marshmallows. Okay, come, come, let's pretend. Let's pretend, ready? It's hot, it's hot. How do you eat a roasted marshmallow if it's hot? You have to blow on it. Oh, 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 oh. Don't burn yourself. You already ate your marshmallow? Yeah. How can that be? It was really hot. I'm done. You're done. Very good. You want to try and do spooky story? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's so it, spooky story. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, go ahead. Okay, it's okay. not real. It's but... not real. Yeah, Can you say it in one second? Oh, time's up. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's Neko Danka. A long time ago, an elder monk and an old orange tabby lived together in a poor mountain temple. Since they had nothing to do, they spent every day sleeping. One day, the orange tabby suddenly went up to the monk and said, I've grown very old, and soon enough I will turn into a ghost. Before that happens, I would like to pay you back for all the kindness you have shown me. The monk, surprised that the cat had spoke, responded, You don't need to repay me anything. Let's just keep living here peacefully. But the orange tabby was determined to show his gratitude, so he came up with a plan. In a few days, the daughter of the village elder will pass away. During her funeral, I'll raise the casket up in the air, and when they call for you, Please recite the Namu Toraya Buddhist scripture. At first, the monk ignored the cat's strange request, but after a few days, the daughter of the village elder grew sick and passed away. The elder called for a high ranking monk and held a lavish funeral for his daughter. As the funeral was about to end, the casket suddenly started to float in the air. The funeral attendees were stunned. What is happening? How do we get the casket to come down? The elder asked the high-ranking monk to do something about this, but no matter what scripture the monk chanted, the casket didn't budge. The elder, completely out of ideas, told one of the villagers to go get the monk who lived in the mountain temple. Once the monk reached the funeral, he saw the casket floating in the air 
and began reciting a Buddhist scripture. Once he began reciting Namu Toraya, as the orange tabby had told him, the floating casket slowly returned back to the ground. The village elder and the rest of the villagers thanked the monk for all that he had done. As payment for his services, the village elder rebuilt the poor mountain temple into a gorgeous temple for the monk to live in. Every morning since then, villagers would form a long line to get into the temple to pray. The monk now worked very hard and had no time to sleep during the day. The End Kids Challenge Hello. Hello. I'm Andrew and this is my daughter. What's your name? My name is Lilia. Our challenger today is five-year-old Lillian. She's very curious and always challenging herself with new things. Today, she'll try to finish a puzzle with her dad. How will she do? So Lillian, today we are going to be doing a puzzle, aren't we? Do you like puzzles? Yeah? You've started already. You really do like puzzles, don't you? All right. Well, I think we better turn all the pieces over first. Okay. Turn them over. You're fast at turning them over too, aren't you? Well, let's start. Lillian, look at this. Uh -huh. Can you see can you see the edge here? Uh-huh. This is called the edge, okay? Now, we need to find pieces that have a straight edge on them too. Do you think you can find those pieces first? Okay. Let's start. Alright. Can you find any pieces that are at the outside? Oh, you found a corner one already. Wow, you are so fast. Good job. When putting a puzzle together, it's best to start from the edges. Before anything else, look for corner pieces and flat pieces first. Nice. That's an eyeball. There's a mouth. We're very good at this, aren't you? Yes, because I've done this before with Samantha. Wow, with your sister Samantha, yeah. Use the original picture and illustration as hints to find the right pieces for the puzzle. Wow, we're up to our last piece. Here it is. You gonna put your last piece in? Good job. You did it, look. It's done. Finished. And it's Sophia, isn't it? Nice job. Give it to me. Yeah! Good job. Good job. Well done. Puzzles are difficult, but it feels great when you finish one. Try putting together a puzzle with your family at home. The answer you choose will decide your future. Hope you enjoyed our show today. So Mia's gonna tell us a ghost story. Go ahead, Mia. Once upon a time. Yes. Once a little boy went to a haunted house. <gasps> Little boy went to a haunted house. But then a witch. But then an evil witch came. <laughs> and then he killed the little boy. <gasps> but then he turned into a ghost. <gasps> and then he tried to defeat the world. Defeat? Oh my goodness, you know big words. Thanks again and see you next week. Chicken Dance Theater, super fast version. Let's do the chicken dance together. 